Hi guys, I'm Companion Wolf, and in this video I'm showcasing my upcoming message add-on plugin for the Q Engine. For those who don't know, the Q Engine is a core plugin I've been writing on and off for a while now for RPG Maker MV. Its main purpose is to add extra functions to enable cross compatibility and usability with most, if not all, of my plugins, new and old. The add-ons then rely on the Q Engine for these core functions, rather than having to repeat them in each plugin. They're all referenceable separately from within the plugin for other plugins as well, provided, of course, that the Q Engine is also installed. As a prime example, the function to boolean allows yes, no, enable, disable, on, off, show, hide, and true, false, which returns either true or false. I basically added these for a more logical approach to setting true or false. As an example, you could have something like enable full screen, to which the more logical choice would be enable to allow full screen or disable to not allow it. And if it's presented as a question, you'd use yes, no instead. Anyway, I'll go into much detail, much more detail on all of the Q Engine's functions and usage in a much later video. Now I'm sure everyone knows about Yanfly's message core plugin for MV, which has a plethora of useful text codes to use in messages. The message add-on expands on that, but there's no point in recycling something that has re that's already been done. So it has some rather unique text codes, which as far as I'm aware, aren't in other message plugins. The plugin was originally written for Otherworld MV, where I wanted to use in-game references only. But as it expanded, I added more text codes, and then it became a complete, self-contained message plugin on its own. In this video, I'm only going to show its features, not how to use them. All of that is in the help file, which I've tried making as comprehensive as possible. So what's, what does it contain? I've grouped the text codes <coughs> into various categories to make it easier to reference, but this has no bearing on how to use them. The first thing I'd like to show you is pronouns. You can reference the proper pronouns for each character based on subject, object, or possessive, depending on the character's gender. This was a, was, was a requested feature. I thought it was a really good idea, so I added it. As you can see here, the first pronoun is she, the subject being Harold's sister, Marcia, and the second pronoun is the object referencing Marsha's birthday. The pronouns can be capitalized at the start of each new sentence as well. Unfortunately, you have to manually toggle caps on or off in a text code because the function I had to automatically do this worked in the console and separately, but not in the message box itself. This has to do with the message, the, the escape code conflicts, which I'll look into later. Next, for the actors, you can have a separate last name for each individual ages and genders, all of which are defined in the actor's notes. You can also put their full names in the message boxes with a single text code rather than having to use separate text codes for the last, the net of the name and the last name and they'll automatically be capitalized too and you'll also notice that with actor 4 a few details are missing this is because there's nothing set in his notes so it rather gracefully subject substitutes with other details his age and gender are unknown so the defaults are used instead you can change these two settings in the parameters to whatever you prefer. His last name isn't defined either, so it appears blank in both the last name and his full name. Incidentally, I'm using Yanfly's message core plugin, hence I'm able to put the details in, in columns for aesthetics and also to test its compatibility with the message add-on plugin and it works just fine. I've also included uh, more is a reminder for me some additional codes I'm planning for a fu future update. These are part of a larger system I'd like to do but in the next update right before its release I'll add the first two as static values just 
for those who want to flesh out their characters a bit more, like in a status or something. Next is information on battles, including total battles fought, won and escaped. And each time you engage in combat, the number is increased depending on your actions. I'd like to expand this section, but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how yet. So if you can think of suggestions for this, comment below and I'll look into them for a future update. There's also a text code to show the map location. This shows the display name in map settings. If it's blank, it'll show an unknown location, which can also be changed to whatever you like in the parameters. With the party information, you can show who's the, who's the lead party member, how many followers you have, the total party size including the leader, the total number of steps taken and the total amount of gold. For the party leader you can already do this with P text code and its value set to 1 but with this you don't have to use the first position, position value, it does it automatically. This was a port over from Motherworld MV which was intended for other things that I decided to keep in. You can use either one, whichever one you prefer. For the gold, MV already has a text code to show the amount of gold, but it's in a separate window, and opens up a blank window if it's the only text code in that window, as you saw right at the beginning, which I do not like. This way, the total amount of gold can be embedded in message window instead. In the save information you can show how many save files you have out of the maximum save files available. I believe 20 is the default for the latter but other plugins might alter this amount and I'm not sure if it'll cause any conflicts because I haven't tested it. I'd like to add another text code right after this one to show how many times you've actually saved just haven't got around to doing it yet and you can also display if save is enabled or disabled this is based on the setting in the change save access event command for the current map game information which will be expanded sometime in the future basically writes the game's version in the message window at least in this incarnation. This is globally set in the Q Engine parameters. Um, gameplay time is exactly that, how long you've been playing the game. Time and date were originally used in other worlds for my own purposes, but I kept them in anyway. These display your system's current settings and they can be formatted in the Q Engine parameters to short or long, um, standard or military for the time. In message windows, none of these re refreshes or updates. It's something I plan on looking into, but it isn't a priority. I also implemented some text codes to determine if some of my other plugins are installed. You probably won't ever have a reason to use them, and you might think it's gratuitous plugin promotion, but that really isn't the case. I needed them for something else, and again, just kept them in. And there you have it. I wanted to showcase the features that my message add-on plugin has. Useful or useless, I didn't want to write something that somebody already did. Most of them were specifically for Otherworld and intended for other projects as well, but when it became a separate plugin in and of itself, I decided to rewrite it as a Q Engine add-on to take advantage of the additional functions that it has. As far as a release date, I don't know yet. The Q Engine, along with some of its add-ons, was scheduled for this month. However, some of my beta testers found some bugs or have made suggestions, so I'm dealing with them first. The release date, therefore, has been deferred until it's just right. If you watched the video thus far, thank you. If you want to keep up to date with my videos, including for Smile Game Builder, don't forget to subscribe. I'll try and get some more RPG Maker videos uploaded as well. Alternatively, you can visit the RPG Maker Times blogs. I'll put the links in the description. And for now, that's it. 
thanks for watching until the next time